Zarkizer. Hey guys, it's your boy Zarkizer, and today I'm gonna give a quick review on the new 2021 Yamaha YZFR3. The R3 is an entry-level sport bike that's great for new riders. It has a sleek, aerodynamic bodywork that not only looks absolutely amazing, but it's also lightweight, nimble, and easy to ride. This bike has a top speed of 105 miles per hour. It's great for cruising around town, and you can even use it on the racetrack. For 2021, the YZF-R3 comes with a price tag of $5,300. It's a popular motorcycle that's designed to always provide a fun riding experience. There's a lot to learn about this bike, but before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content. And definitely check out my online store where you can buy some cool motorcycle accessories and apparel. So yeah, let's get right back into it. The new 2021 Yamaha YZF R3 comes available in four color options, which are matte black, electric teal, team Yamaha blue, and the Monster Energy Yamaha Moto GP edition, which features graphics from the Yamaha racing team. This bike looks absolutely amazing. It has LED lights all around and features an aggressive design with full fairings and next generation R series styling. The YZF-R3 has a broad spread of power with exciting high RPM performance. This bike is powered by 321cc liquid-cooled 4-stroke inline twin-cylinder engine that puts out 41 horsepower and 29 newton meters of torque. The R3 comes equipped with a smooth shifting 6-speed transmission gearbox that always ensures the rider has the right ratio, whether riding through tight canyon corners or zipping through racetrack straightaways. The R3 weighs 375 pounds and has a compact wheelbase of 54.3 inches. It has a 30.7 inch seat height and a ground clearance of 6.3 inches that allows you to flat foot your feet at all stops. This bike has a fuel tank capacity of 3.7 gallons and uses regular 87 octane gas. It has an excellent fuel economy of 56 miles per gallon that provides an approximate riding range of 207 miles. The riding position is one of the most important features of the R3. Despite its cool super sport styling, the R3 offers a comfortable upright riding position that reduces rider fatigue and increases total fun factor. The chassis dimensions and aerodynamic shape of the bike were designed to centralize mass and lower the center of gravity to provide the rider with light agile handling. The clip-on style handlebars for the new 2021 model are 22 millimeters lower than the previous model and the separate rider and passenger seats offer excellent comfort. In addition to this, the passenger seat can be easily replaced by an optional rear seat cowl if you prefer to ride alone. The R3 has an ultralight chassis that features a steel double-sided swing arm and a diamond-type steel frame that's narrow and compact. The suspension system on this bike is handled by a non-adjustable 37mm KYB inverted fork up front that provides 5.1 inches of front suspension travel. At the back is a single KYB shock absorber that's adjustable for preload and provides 4.9 inches of rear suspension travel. The YZF-R3 sits on 17-inch, 10-spoke aluminum cast wheels with Dunlop Sportmax GPR 300 tires. The braking system on this bike is handled by dual-channel ABS. At the front is a single 298mm hydraulic disc gripped by dual-piston caliper. And at the back is a single 220mm disc gripped by single-piston caliper. The R3 comes equipped with a multifunction LCD digital dashboard that displays all the information you need, such as a clock, speedometer, tactometer, odometer, fuel gauge, trip meters, gear position indicator, upshift indicator, oil change indicator, and much more. So yeah, that's about it for the new 2021 Yamaha YZF-R3. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the bike. Do you like the new style and design? Do you think the R3 is the best entry-level sport bike? Let me know your thoughts down below. I respond to every comment, so definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. 
You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content. All right, that's it for now, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace. Zarkizer.